You guys, I just made a campfire taco pizza and it's vegan. Oh, I can't wait for you to try this. What's up foodie fam? It's your girl Miranda, also known as Uprooted Foodie. Today we are in Idaho. We are on a big camping excursion right now, so I wanted to film one of our camp friendly, vegan friendly meals for you. Come on over to the camp kitchen and we'll show you what you need. Mini camp tour. We have set up our tent here. Kyle is chopping a little bit of wood back there on a stump because there's a lot of free dead wood around here. This is our fire pit and our chairs. So we're just gonna hang out here tonight. We had a lot of free wood. That's just some kindling starter pack that's in there, not trash. And then I'll take you into the kitchen. But real quick, we are just north of Sunbeam, Idaho. So we are between Sunbeam and Bonanza Ghost Town. So tomorrow morning we're gonna go check out a hot spring. We're gonna go check out two ghost towns and then we're gonna go to Stanley. So stay tuned in the future for all of the vlogs that surround this big camping trip we're doing. For now, I just wanted to put something out there for you to enjoy and let you know that we're having a good time camping. This should be everything that you need. We're gonna start over here with some foil. You will need a cast iron pan. I recommend an oven mitt, a can opener, some taco seasoning. This is from Crummies out of Colorado. We have some vegetarian refried beans. Look out for refried beans because they usually contain lard. Um, sometimes you're lucky and they don't, but if they say vegetarian, you should be okay. We have a red enchilada sauce. We have some fresh heirloom tomatoes nutritional yeast or nooch. We have some minced garlic. Pillsbury pizza crust, a thin pizza crust. So we'll see how this kind of spreads out in the pan. It might be too big, but we're also gonna use corn chips. This is the Garden of Eden, they're delicious. And then we're gonna cut up some onion and some fresh lettuce. Okay, we have completed step one and it was a little tricky, but I figured it out. This is what we have so far. And I had to obviously like, I still have to kind of like tuck that side. This side looks good. And I folded it out and over. And I think I'm gonna just do like a bigger wrap of foil down to like here. Step number two, I did the refried beans first as a layer. Kyle suggested that to keep the integrity of the shape and then enchilada sauce. So I think I only used about two big spoonfuls of refried beans and then like two tablespoons of enchilada sauce. So it's really not much and I don't think we're gonna need much. Step number three, I guess, um, we added seasonings. There's ash flying into this cast iron. Whoopsie. Taco seasoning over the enchilada sauce, probably a tablespoon, garlic, no flies, and uh, onion, chopped onion. Now she start to look like a pizza. I added some chopped heirloom grape tomatoes and nutritional yeast. And we're gonna put the chips on it, I think, and then just cover it and bake it. This is the top uh, with chips. I'm gonna fold this over and then I'll show you that and I'll put foil on it and we'll pop it on the fire. I think I'm gonna put more taco seasoning on top of the chips. Didn't tell you this before. You should definitely um, grease your pan, even if it's cast iron. I just feel like crescent rolls are gonna get like flaky and might either just flake off or not stick to the pan. And I feel like butter or oil will kind of help keep it together, but also get it out of the pan when you need it. This is kind of a Dutch oven style situation. So I'm curious to see how it goes. Are you excited? I'm really excited. I yes. fucking love campfire cooking. Yes, and you got that fire raging, I babe. Got it rolling. Good job. Yeah. I'm just gonna add more taco seasoning to the top. If you've never heard of taco pizza, first of all, I don't know where you're spending your time, but you need to get on this. And second of all, it's um, customary where I'm from in the Quad Cities to um, enjoy taco pizza. It's a thing, look it up. Uh, the Quad Cities are between Chicago and Iowa City. It's like right on the bump of Illinois. That's like where I'm from. And 
taco pizza is a thing. Quad City style pizza is also a thing. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of make a crust. I was gonna maybe do like a fold over, but I'm kind of feeling like a thick, just like a thick crust down in here. Cause I think it's gonna bubble up really nice. And uh, it's definitely gonna get like big. Today was just a driving day too, and um, pretty tired. And I have my contacts in because I was anticipating us going to a hot spring, but that did not happen. We decided to just kind of chill at camp. We're only here for one night, so we just kind of wanted to be at camp. But then uh, tomorrow will be a big day. I am curious, would you guys like uh, more of a, in an in-depth camp tour? Um, just kind of like what we set up, how we set up, what our gear is, um, what we brought with us. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want something like that as a video. I think we're gonna do like a, what we learned and like what we recommend and don't recommend basically. Um, I think we're gonna do something like that and post it just after this video. So. Let me know, again, if that's something you're interested in, even if you already know what to do, if it's something you just like to see what someone else does. Um, yeah, because I'd, I'd be keen to share it. Chef Kyle, the reveal please, for the table. Whoa! That looks so good. Oh my god, and it's bubbling. Do you see yeah, this? Yeah, that's amazing. <gasps> Whoa. I think we let it cool now for a few minutes. Yeah. I mean, I think, I think the, right. the butter was a good choice, obviously, because yeah. it is tucked away from the sides. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yes. fantastic. Let's let it cool off, and we'll show you what it looks like out of it. Let's do it. Okay, everyone. She's got a beautiful little crust. Like the butter was a major help. It's really thick. Uh, I would equate it to a pan or a deep dish. It's looking good. It was bubbling in the middle. Let's cut it open. Yeah, that's what we want. That was a floofy crust. Oh my gosh. Warning, it's a little messy. Glad we brought the big knife. Mm -hmm. We almost didn't. Okay. Take a look here. It's too hot. It's really hot. Um. Let's go for it. Can you see me all right? Mm -hmm. It's gonna be hot. We need lettuce. I have lettuce over here. Ooh, and it's kind of spicy. A little block on here. This is so good. I can't describe to you how good this is. 100%. Make this. Make it plain, make it margarita, make it taco, whatever you're gonna do. You can't go wrong. You can definitely do this. 25 minutes on top of the fire. Let it cool for five to 10. You're golden. This is fantastic. We're gonna finish it. Thank you for watching. I hope you're having a great day or night wherever you are and we'll see you on the next adventure, whether that's on the road or in the camp kitchen. You're too fucking tall. I'm gonna triple check this is <laughs> I do have some crap in the frame I over don't, here. I don't want that crap in 
I think the volume you were talking at is gonna be okay. Campfire. Hold for bug. But she, bug, oh no. <laughs> okay. Do you need your leg sprayed? Yes, I have not okay. sprayed yet. Would you hold? Yeah, please. I thought you did. So much. Yeah.